Okay, so this intro was a little bit too long, so all I was saying was that, um, yeah, back to school, blah, 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 back to school, supplies, part one, because I don't have all my supplies right now, because I didn't send out the whole entire list. So, let's just hop into the video. Okay, so, wait. Okay, so let's just start off with the regular thing. First thing that I actually have two book bags. So, first thing that I got is this Tommy Hilfiger book bag that I got for my birthday. February 6th, by the way, finish turn 12 in a minute, boo. Make sure that you comment that junk, too. Okay, but uh, anyway. So, I actually have two book bags because I wanted this for my birthday when I saw it in Macy's. And my mom was like, it's sold out. But then turns out that she had bought it ahead. So, I have this Tommy Hilfiger book bag. I know what you might be thinking. He's racist, but hey. It's a book bag, and it's supposed to carry my books. So, you yeah. know. But, you know, we don't mess with Tommy like that. You know, Tommy Hilfiger dress, Tommy Hilfiger skirt, Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Here and there, but I'm not called about Tommy like that. So if I have this book bag for like when I have to carry less stuff on days, because as you can see, I have a computer pocket for my uh, laptop for school or for a laptop that I'm planning to buy. Then I have a regular pocket, of course. I have a little zipper right here to probably put my calculator, a little pouch right here, and then I have this front pouch. It's for stuff like when I don't have a lot of stuff to carry that day. But this is for like when I have a bunch of stuff to carry. This right here. I got this from Walmart last year. And as you can see, it's a little tore up right here, but I'm going to use it until it breaks, so be straight. But, um, yeah, so we have this book bag right here, and it's like a regular book bag, laptop pocket, regular pocket, smaller pocket, pencil pouch pocket, two side pockets, and, like, two little holders. So, um, yeah, and as you can probably tell by this video, my favorite color is blue. So, let's go next to the binders. Okay, so we have a zipper trapper keeper. It was on the list. Every single year you have to get one of these. And basically, this side is like a little file holder. So like you can put your little files right there. And then I'm looking for the little tabs, but they have tabs that go with them too. So that's exciting, isn't it? So, and then we have this bigger pocket. I haven't even looked inside here before if I'm being honest. Oh, okay. So yep, yeah, this one looks like this. It's basically, you know, like a regular binder right here. I don't know what the second one for me is, but it's there for a reason, I guess. Then I have this little place where I can hold a couple of pencils, I'm guessing. And then another filing place. Ooh, fancy. And, um, let's see. Yep, that's I have a filing place. And there's this little pocket right here where I can hold all my pencils and all that jazz. So, um, yeah, it's basically, like, a huge binder where I can just hold all my stuff. This is where I put all my paper and junk. The stuff that I didn't want to put up, I just threw it in here last year. And now that it has more pockets, I guess I can be a little bit more organized now. I guess I could do a get organized with me video once school starts in. But hey, you gotta live. So, um, let's see. Let's go on to paper next. And keep in mind, this is also stuff for my sister. She's a senior this year. So I'm not having this whole entire pack of paper to myself. But I already know this one. So, we have five packs of paper, you know, to last us the first month. We always have to end up buying more paper. College ruled. My sister likes white rules, so we're definitely going to have to get some more. Okay. So the next thing is these filing folders. You know, they're regular, they're basic, they're pretty. Oh, yes, now I tell you that this school year's theme is red, white, and blue. And I'm most likely only going to need three of these. And how ironically, red, white, and blue. But it contains white, black, green, purple, blue, and red. All the gangs, apparently. But, um, yeah. So, got these, and then when I was volunteering at my old elementary school, I do that every single year because I assume that I have to have volunteer hours. I had to have them last year. Since so it's a new principal, I think I'm going to have to have them this year too because it's a magnet school. So, yeah. But I got this with 10 pockets. Last year, I had one with four pockets, and this was my homework folder. But now I have one with 10 pockets. So, I'm putting my English homework right there, marketing, math, homeroom, science. Spanish, social studies, and a notes to help go in the back. I'm gonna decorate it all pretty and stuff, so yeah, don't worry. I'm aesthetic. So let's go into the, Let's keep it going with the paper. Last year, I literally used zero things of graph paper. I used a fourth. And this pack contains 80, so that means that I only used 20 sheets last year. I didn't even have to use them for math class. Like, I was just like drawing on them and like planning out houses and stuff, even though I'm 11. So, um, yeah. Oh yes, and if you're gonna see, you're gonna see another video of me getting my life together for back to school next week, which I'm starting today, cause 
There's two more days until school, and that's probably not even enough for me to get my life together, but hey. Mm, better now than never, so. But I have this graph paper from last year that I did not even use. So, let's go on to the composition of books. Okay, last year in Spanish, I only used about 25 sheets of 100 or 200 or 150 sheet notebook. So, I got four of these. Two for me, two for my sister, you know, just in case she needs this. I know I'm going to need one for Spanish class. I'm just going to use my notes from last year and put them all in here again. Because that's going to be easier. Uh, hopefully, I didn't break anything. So, let's start with these composition notebooks. I have this one from last year. Didn't use it. It was supposed to be for my homeroom class. But yeah, I put like this little brown sheet on it. But I'm going to take it off and I'm probably going to end up painting it. I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and get me some little nice paint. It's supposed to be for my homeroom class, but you know, I don't use any supplies that they tell me to get because I'm just like that. So, and I have this three subject notebook because there's going to be that one. I have, I kept this because there's always going to be that one teacher that's like, Oh, you can't combine the notes from other classes. No, you can't do that. But last year when I used a three subject notebook for one teacher, because she said that we needed three subjects, I only ended up using a subject and a half. So I really should have not have wasted my money on that. But yep, I'm going to be using these ones I didn't use, that I didn't use last year. Then I have my 2019 planner. It's only for 2019 for a so for Christmas. I'm going to be asking for another planner. But I really don't even use this for like school i really use it for my youtube videos but i'm gonna stop using it for my youtube videos because that's just gonna go on my phone because i got an alert today to tell me to film this video this morning so once i got back from volunteering guess what i ate some pizza and started filming this so yep yeah, got that cute little planner got it off of amazon so the next thing that i got marcus let me tell you my dad he will buy the most stuff. He doesn't even look what he's buying. One time, the lady at Walmart charged him for 11 for 11 watermelons and he paid $55 because he wasn't paying attention. And of course, he doesn't pay attention, so at least I got me 50 markers. Yay, this is going to last me the rest of my middle school year because last year I only used 25 and those dried out. So half of this year, half for next year. I should be good. Yeah. So the next things that I got were wooden pencils. Me and my sister prefer mechanical pencils, but I'll use I'll use a wooden one. So yeah, got this huge box of wooden pencils, 150. So this should last me the whole entire year and a little bit of next year. So next year I'm probably not gonna get as much pencils. Then something that I severely need because my pins get eaten somehow they're going to area 51 just like my socks and like my mom's bananas that just disappeared so got me a 60 pack of pins and i write in a diary every single year Ooh, i'm gonna have the best story time ever about when i lost my diary bro i'm telling you that's gonna be the best video period well, probably not the best, but, you know, it's going to be pretty juicy. But I got a bunch of pens because I like to write in my diary. I have a little journal for YouTube, so I need these. And I like writing in pen. The only class that I won't write in pen in is science and math because math, I have to, like, write stuff out because it's pen full and then I have to do scratch work and stuff. And science, I always end up getting something wrong, so it's best for me to have an eraser. And I'm tired of the whiteout. Oh, I also need to put whiteout on my list. School doesn't start for another 10 days. I have enough time. Then this protractor that I got last year that I didn't even use. So, it's literally unopened. Nobody has touched this. So, hopefully I use it this year. If I don't, then have it for 8th grade. If I don't use it for 8th grade, I'm going to have it for high school. Don't use it in high school. I'm going to have it for college. Don't use it in college. I'm going to give it to my adopted child and my child. If I have children. If I can. So, um, next thing is this calculator from last year. I forgot what my cal- Oh, Casino. Casino FX991EX Class Wiz. I got this one. And then, like, this whole entire school year, it was so stupid. Because, watch. If I do 9 divided by 6, 
it puts 3 over 2. So, um, I found out that it goes from S to D, and S to D means basically something to decimal. So, now I know how to use this. I got those professional middle school calculators. And then... I got this stapler, yeah. I got this stapler last year, and I just now found the staples. So yeah, I need this for my work. I'm also gonna get a mini stapler because I hate it when the teachers are like, oh, pass around the class. And you sit at the end of the class. It takes forever. And my patience, I won't say that it's short, but I won't say that it's long. It's like in the middle. So if you got me waiting five minutes, you got me bent. I'm walking over there and stapling it myself, period. And you know, you can't have a stapler without staples. I guess I really like these staples, standard staples from Swing Line because they're easy to take out, but they won't come out on their own. Because I've had staples before that just pop out on their own. So I like those ones. So the next thing that I have are paper clips because business. And I'm going to give me like a couple of file folders for when I complete my homework. So I'm like I can have like the notes in the back the unfinished one in the front, and the finished ones in the middle. That's good. So the next thing that I have is this. If you don't watch my mystery unboxing on Monday, then I advise that you go and watch it so you can see what's in this bag. But, um, yeah. And then, this will probably give you a hint. But, you know, still watch the video because, like, it helps you more. I have these erasable pens. Everybody's seen these. I've had these ever since. I've had the thing that it goes with that was in the mystery unboxing ever since, I think, last summer. Yeah, I've had them ever since last summer. Then people, they're like, oh, yes, they erase so good. But I'm like, oh, I have something to go with. Okay, I can't just say something to go with it. I have an erasable notebook from Rocket Book. I advise that you go and buy it. But if you want to know, like, actually, like, how to do it in junk, because, like, it's not just erasable and stuff. So, go watch that unboxing video. And it came with this cute pen. So I can use it in colorful ones and a regular black one. You know, just in case teachers are like, no, you can't do any colorful. No, stop that. Huh. Such Generation Z. But, Zen but Generation Z? It's like the best generation. We were the generation that wasn't even born without technology. When Generation Z started, technology was created. Well, when I was born, that was when the first iPhone came out. So I wasn't even born without technology. When I was two, that's when the first iPad came out, I think. And I had the first iPad, so... Was it the first? I think it was iPad 2. I don't know what it was, but... That's beyond the point. We're talking about school supplies here, so... Oh, okay, we're almost done. Let's go. So then, like I said, my dad, he doesn't look at stuff. So to go with these 50 markers, I got 50 color pencils. Hey, Lego, 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 Lego. So I got these from Artalicious. And, like, everybody, they're like, oh, yes, I love these. So I'm glad that he doesn't pay attention because I'm going to see if these actually work as good as they say they do. So, yeah. And next up, I should have done this when I showed you my Zipper Trapper Keeper. But I got heck of a lot of dividers. I actually have one, two, three, four, five. I have five sets of eight dividers. And I have a bunch of dividers from last year. So um, this should last me until the end of high school. I don't think I'm going to need any more dividers. But you know, you never know. So, so it's the end so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't make sure that you smash that like button don't forget to comment down below what videos you would like to see next i love hearing guys opinions in the comments and i need a couple more youtube video ideas so i'm just posting whatever and i'm trying to give you guys good and quality content so yeah i don't but the day that i'm filming this i have 92 subscribers it's monday july 29th so, thank you for 100 subscribers. Hopefully by then, I have 100. Finna edit my video that I'm posting on Monday. 
So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Well, peace. Bye.